Welcome to Great Chefs of the World, a culinary survey featuring premier chefs from around the globe. Monte Carlo is the destination for the appetizer. From the Hotel de Paris, Franck Ceruti presents a carefully constructed seafood saute, which includes shrimp, squid, octopus, and clams. From southern Austria, the main course is prepared by Sissi Sonleitner. It's roasted rabbit with an interesting side dish, potato pockets stuffed with fresh and dried tomato. Finally, dessert is served in London. Philip Howard at the restaurant The Square present strawberry soup, which involves caramelizing strawberries, then serving with champagne and chantilly cream. Philip Howard got a degree in biochemistry from Kent University in England. It's not an heroic leap from there to cooking, which he began in 1989. In 1991, he joined the Square. Now head chef, the restaurant won a second Michelin star in 1998. His dessert is strawberry soup with champagne. The chef begins the strawberry syrup by combining fresh strawberries and powdered sugar, then covering with plastic wrap. And then set it over a bain-marie. And forget about it for... It can go on forever, to be honest with you. All that's going to happen is the sugar is going to pull out the moisture from the strawberries, sweeten it, and you end up with the one I have earlier, I had earlier, which is a delicious strawberry syrup, um, which... Uh, sure I can demonstrate is a, a wonderful, delicious ruby red uh, fragrant syrup. So the chef now caramelizes some strawberries. Um, you need to start off with quite a nice hot pan, uh, to which we're going to make a, make a caramel, a very light caramel. Um, we'll then put the strawberries onto that, toss them around so that they also release their juices. But again, it's very, this is a very quick process. You're trying to draw out some of the moisture from the strawberries and then reduce it quickly on, back onto them. So they end up rich, glazed, fragrant. Granulated sugar is heated to the caramel stage. The chef is checking the progress of the strawberry syrup. This should be done at least two hours ahead, then refrigerated. Taking it that far is uh, absolutely fine. All the sugar will solidify immediately onto the strawberries, but it'll then uh, it'll then loosen up again. while that's happening, the final bit of the uh, process is just to make a, a creme chantilly, which, uh, which must be made by hand, which takes 150 milliliters of double cream. You want uh, plenty of uh, vanilla. Final remaining tablespoon of sugar. Just to the point where it's nice and rich and thick, not stiff.
squeeze the lemon juice. Beginning to turn, just beginning to form juices out there. Some of the strawberries. And you can see the colour of the syrup. Just with a splash of champagne. A nice quenelle of cream over the top. Hot spoon. Champagne and vanilla.